Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> hey guys, it's Mo. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be making some lovely banana bread. Yum. But one thing I need before we can get started. I'm not ready. I found this banana bread recipe that I'm gonna follow online. I will put the link below. I'm gonna probably tweak it just a little bit. I made this recipe once before and it's all right. It just needed some little tweaking. The recipe actually like gives you instructions of like what to do in what order, but I kind of just throw it on the bowl and mix it up, so. That's what we're gonna do. Flour! We need exactly two cups. Let's do it. This is a half a cup, so we need four of these to level off. Ooh, I got a pretty good one in there. I don't even need to use the knife to level it. I just kind of scooped it against the edge of the flour bag. There's one, two, three. Wow. Ah. First the ingredients complete. Next we need a teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. We just gonna pour it in as best we can. We drop some extra in there. I think that's good. Need my handy dandy little panda for this next part. We're gonna add some salt. And we, it, it calls for a four tablespoon, but I think we're gonna do a little extra and go with the half. Yeah. Maybe not quite filler all the way. I just felt like it was lacking in the salt department last time a little bit. Next, we are gonna put some cinnamon in it. This is something that I thought was interesting. I don't feel like I've normally put cinnamon in my banana bread, but it turned out right. I might actually hold back just a little bit on that. Cinnamon. It says to do a half teaspoon. I think we're gonna do a four. A little bit over. Sounds good to me. Next we need a half a cup or one stick of unsalted butter. It suggests thawing it out ahead of time, but I haven't done that, so we're just gonna give it a little bit of a melt. Just a little. I need a little drink. I've got some wine. Okay, heat up our butter just a little bit. And we don't talk to them. Brown sugar. We need three fourths of a cup. Or you can use your fingers if you wash your hands. So that's important. Um, need a little more. Okay. Now we're gonna pull it in like so. Two large eggs. suggest to use to make it more moist is Greek yogurt and I tried it last time and I feel like it definitely helped so we are gonna do some of that again. It suggests 
Let's see, a third a cup. I just kind of put a spoonful in there and call it a day. And this is just plain Greek yogurt. No flavors or anything. So now we need full ripe bananas. What I have right here. But before I add the bananas in, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these ingredients to kind of make a little more room. And let's get mixing. Shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you off the stand so you can see what I'm seeing happening down in here. Getting mixed. Now we are going to go ahead and put in the bananas. The bananas. Oh! We almost forgot the vanilla. Oh, it says to do it after the, whatever. We're gonna do vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla. There she goes. Now we will do the bananas. <laughs> so, um, there's our dough <laughs> so far. All sticking. Ooh, these bananas being nice and ripe. That's how you want them to be. We're just breaking into some pieces here. bananas in there. We wanna smash them up a little bit. So I'll bring you in close so you can enjoy the smashing of the bananas too. Okay. So here they are in there. Nice and time to get smashed. Your bells, oh, jingle your bells. All right, we are almost there. She looking pretty good. She's smelling pretty good. I love banana bread batter. It smells so good. It tastes so good. I just, I love it. Okay. Now there are two more things that I like to personally add to my banana bread. The first one being nuts. And today, why don't you use any kind of nuts? Not just any kind of nuts. We're using Fisher Chef Naturals chopped pecans. Pecans, how do you say it? Pecans, pecans. It's already chopped up nice and tiny for us. We're gonna toss them on in there. Yeah, just toss them on in there. It says to do like three fourths of a cup, but I just kind of wing it, you know. I don't like to go too heavy because we have one more ingredient we need to add. So, are you cooking around in there? I think that's pretty good. Okay, my favorite ingredient, chocolate chips, chocolate chips, chocolate chips. And these are mini semi-sweet morsels. I like the mini ones. It just, it just feels right. It gets, like, makes your banana bread is like that next level, yeah? 
So again, I'm just gonna kinda toss them in here. Not going too heavy again, because we got the nuts in there. We just put a nice little even sprinkling of chocolate around. Mm -hmm. Mm. Delicious. I'm gonna mix it. Okay, I think it is about the time that we put her in the oven. We got our nice little bread pan here. Yeah. Ooh, scooch. Scooch a boot. Man, I love using this mixer. It just makes things so much easier, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go in the oven. We're gonna set our timer for 30 minutes and then put some foil over it. I'm gonna do another 30 minutes, so I'll see you in 30 minutes. 30 minutes for me, like two seconds for you. Ooh, she be sizzling, but she be looking beautiful. 